I woke up, startled by the sudden sound of thunder. Damn, that scared the shit out of me. I took off the blanket, and at that moment, I got a sudden, severe headache. I fell to the floor and rolled, strongly holding my head. And the memories of the day popped up in my head. The same sound of thunder like that day. The rain was beating hard against the windows, as if it was about to break them. I woke up in the middle of the night and walked to the kitchen. At that time, I heard a faint sound, which was really weird, like someone's mouth was suddenly gagged while screaming. But I couldn't hear properly because it was soon drowned out by the sound of rain. I drank up a glass of water, and all of a sudden I saw something standing at the front door of the next house, which was visible through the window in my living room. With a flash of lightning, I found a vague silhouette of a human who was getting rained on without an umbrella. Thinking if I saw things, I tried clearly to see what it was, but I couldn't because it was too dark. After a while, lightning flashed once again and I saw a woman and a man dancing together. I dropped a glass on my big toe and groaned with pain. When another lightning stroke again, I saw a woman dancing with somebody. She was grinning from ear to ear. However, the man dancing with her was lifelessly swung around just like a dummy by the woman. As it was kind of creepy, I checked the door to make sure it was locked. Then I turned my eyes to them again to clearly see what they were doing. At that moment, her eyes suddenly turned to me. I got startled and immediately hid myself. I was not sure whether she got aware of me or if she was just looking in this direction. When I looked back through the window after a couple of minutes, they were gone. Come on, this is not funny. Please, muttering in a low voice, I looked around a bit nervously, then went back to my room. Next morning, it was noisy outside the house next door. There were several police officers, and I found the man next door was found dead. One of the police came to me and asked me if anything had happened to me last night. So I said, I saw a man and a woman were dancing in front of the house and I hurt my big toe. The police showed me a picture of his dead body and asked me if he was the man I saw last night. In the picture, all of his joints were terribly broken and twisted, and the body was horribly bloated by rain. It was even hard to recognize, but it certainly looked like him. Then the police showed me another picture of a woman who really looked like the one I saw last night. She was the dead man's wife who already died three years ago. As far as I know, she had a severe mental illness while she was alive. Bullshit. She already died three years ago. But how come? I was extremely confused. A few days later, the police came to my house again and said, Last night, another man living across the way died, completely soaked by rain, just like the previous case. Did you see or notice anything strange last night? I was shocked, speechless. The police continued. Take care of yourself on a rainy day, especially when it's with thunder and lightning. Nobody can ensure your safety. I gulped with fear. It was so loud the police might hear it. Since then, there have been a number of witnesses telling that they're seeing the dancing woman night after night. Even there was a rumor that never make eye contact with the dancing woman at night because several more men went missing in the village after that day. The police conducted a large-scale investigation, but they got nowhere. And one day, on a rainy night, I heard someone knocking at my door. I walked up to the door and looked outside through the window. I saw a woman in a white dress standing in front of my door, completely soaked with rain. I felt my heart suddenly thumped in the chest because she was dancing alone, holding a knife. I shouted, Fuck off! I don't like dancing! Frightened, I missed my footing while shrinking back from her and fell backward, and I was still seeing her silhouette dancing alone through the window. I'll call the police! I shouted again. Then the silhouette disappeared, and fortunately, nothing happened that night. And I moved out from that house and six years have passed since then. I haven't heard any news about that village and the woman anymore. But even now, I completely lock all the doors and windows of my house when it rains 
and lightning strikes. Sometimes it feels like I can hear her laughing from the yard, or I see her shadow dancing frantically. Well, all this might be just hallucinations. But nevertheless, I didn't look out through the window to identify that. Until today, I still have no idea who she was. Just one thing I can't ever forget is her dancing. Looking back on it now, maybe that was not dancing, but stabbing the man frantically with a knife. 